what is a process management whenever a application is running on a operating system it is actually a process running in a memory memory means ram so whenever any software is executing or running in the memory it is called a process and normally in a operating system hundreds of process are running uh, you know at the same time simultaneously so operating system uh, has to manage the processes as well efficiently you might remember if you have used a old hardware with old operating system it hangs a lot sometimes it crashes a lot it reboots automatically okay so this is because of bad memory management okay so over time the operating system get updates okay it gets uh, enhancements feature enhancements and you know operating system code enhancements so now in today's date you don't get to see memory problem or process management problem in the in, in any operating system even on your phone old version of android was very bad now now the latest version of android 10 or 11 or 12 they they are exceptionally good right and then we have the device management operating system has to manage the devices if you are plugging in the uh, pen drive on your laptop your system automatically detects it why because the microsoft's device management is running in the background it is constantly checking off checking for the hardware changes so similar feature is there in all of the operating systems okay and finally there is error handling and logging now what is error handling and logging so error handling means you know normally whenever a operating system is running in the background some errors are generating okay so the error error handling mechanism of operating system will be taking care of those error messages okay and it will save those error logs error messages in a file so that administrator can check what error is popping up and why it is popping up so you know for troubleshooting purposes so these are the common features of a good operating system okay now let us come to linux okay so let's come to a brief history of linux you know uh, how was linux operating system developed or it came into existence so basically there is a coder or a developer by the name linus torvalds and he is the creator of linux okay so when we say linux it means the original linux and it gave the operating system to the open source community which means anyone can download the linux operating system and anyone can modify it re- redistribute it with a different name so this is why we get ubuntu mint kali linux and uh, you know there are so many versions so, so many distributions